We're just getting some updates on what appears to be a terrorist bombing in Oslo, Norway. An explosion hit government headquarters this morning. At least seven people are dead. Many more are hurt. A government spokesman says the prime minister is safe and aid says he was working at home at the time. An anti-terror police have also been sent to a youth camp just outside of Oslo after reports. This policeman has come up and uh, said that he's there to help you. All of a sudden you realize actually this policeman is starting to shoot all of you. One of the girls starts crying and she told me that there was a policeman with a bald head that had started shooting them. Can you please make sure the police do not take my videotape? We're now on our way away from the blast site. Headed in the opposite direction. Away from the terror. A 32-year-old man allegedly dressed in a police uniform opened fire and murdered 84 people. He told them he was there to help them and told them to come close and then he pulled an automatic weapon out of his bag and started killing people. To make sure they were dead, he pulled a shotgun out of the bag and finished the job. It seemed like a planned execution, each and every one of the 84 people. What we appear to be witnessing right now is a coordinated gun and bomb attack on the Norwegian capital. Now, viewers will recall that last October there was a State Department travel advisory for the continent of Europe, an Al-Qaeda plot uh, to launch a Mumbai-style attack against Europe. Well, this seems and feels awfully a lot like that right now, Halle. Mm. So, just to tell our viewers what we're talking about here, we understand uh, from NRK, the uh, state broadcaster there, that there is an attack ongoing on Utoya Island where there's a youth rally or a youth meeting of the ruling Labour Party. So this is not something that has come to an end yet, Paul. The date is July 23rd, 2011. The day after the carnage and terror in Oslo. Controversial images. It's turning into a very significant event in the Norwegian capital. We are hearing reports of a second explosion. What are your dreams and aspirations? Uh, I'm not sure. I like football. That's. Are you? Do you play football or? Yeah. Okay. So other than that, you can't really think of anything. No, I'm not sure yet. Uh, living, most of all. <laughs> but we're showing you videotape material. It's confidential, so. This is very unusual, you have to admit that much. Uh, there are some special circumstances that, like for instance, there was a person murdered than a helicopter crash. Then a what? Helicopter crash. Okay, so we started work on a movie on the 27th of May. By the way, I, I don't give you permission to film me. I don't like my face being anywhere. Okay. I understand you're an investigator. Okay, uh, his supervisor.
Okay, great. What's his badge number? Maybe he should know his daughter's threatening to kill people. Do you know how many people are here? Yeah, okay, tell me. Do you know how many witnesses there are here in this room listening to your murder threats? I don't know what happened to the Andrew family, but the tape is real. The tape is real. This tape's real. And I will testify to that. Can I ask your name? Do not film me. Okay, if you're asking for my identification, I just want to yeah, have a clip of it. Okay. I want that. Do you have that on you? Uh, of course. Yeah, can I okay, but uh, did I do something wrong? Yes, okay. I have to have your name because if you don't... Do not film Okay, Take it I, off. I'll film him. Do you remember what Michael Moore did to the president with a documentary? He destroyed his entire reputation Sin never does. There's only one thing you can do. You know what must be done. You're going to burn. I don't think I dare to do that. The theme sort of relates a little bit as well to the Oklahoma uh, city bombings. <laughs> An American will make an action film. Over on the side. Dramatisk i Bergen centrum. Politiet har fått melding om bankran. Store politistyrker med maskinpistoler rykker ut. Et stort område rundt DNB Nord sin bankfilial på Vågsalmenningen blir sperret av. Folk blir bedt om å halde seg på avstand. Inn i banken er det blitt observert personer med finlandsette og våpen. Men det var ikke et ekte bankran. Midt under innspillingen så får vi, ser vi laserkuler inn i banken hvor hele greiene blir avviklet på grunn av politiet. Du blir sjokkert når du er midt under en innspilling for modeller, og så plutselig kommer politiet inn og ligger hånd i hånd på, og det er full kjør. Det er bare en pretend scene. Det er fiktion. Det er ikke en real bank robbery. Vi gjør en film. De er alle fake, de er alle babyguns. Noen av dem er real. Men for politiet var det ekte. Stå på den floor, face down. Vil du dø? We will kill everyone in this bank if we have to. Everyone, stay down on the floor, face down. If we filmed this in New York, this would never happen. You would never no. have a SWAT team swarm in. Uh, I worked with Steven Spielberg. I've been involved with Warner Brothers, Columbia Pictures. I worked on Spider-Man 3. I have a massive film background. How are they going to possibly verify this? Um, what he said was, you can do anything you want in terms of verified. Any type of due diligence, he will... Uh, answer whatever questions put forward. Uh, we could do whatever type of checking, we could bring in experts, we could have the tape tested, we could... Uh, in fact, he encouraged all of these uh, uh, aspects. I think we should try to arrange okay. it with somebody else. But That's uh, fine. Yeah. Please follow me. Okay. Both of you. No camera. Uh, your cameras need to go around. No camera. We're doing a documentary film. The fallout from the nuclear blast killed all plant life animal life, everything.